Welcome to our 32nd vlog with Floor Carbon Technologies. I'm Emily. I'm David. I'm Jake. And I know what everyone's wondering out there. You're wondering, is it a good idea to use a toxic biocide on your carpet? So we're going to unpack that question today, so don't go anywhere. I'd like to introduce you to Jake Alexander. He is the owner of Alexander Financial. They specialize in tax planning for individuals and businesses. Jake is the most down-to-earth tax accountant that I've ever met. He has an amazing ability to explain complex tax strategies in a very simple manner. Now, for a segment we like to call, Busting, Busting the Myths. This week we'll discuss a common myth about carpet cleaning, that carpet is a danger to my health. Today, indoor air quality is an important environmental consideration especially since we spend approximately 90% of our time indoors. In 1992, the Carpet and Rug Institute launched its Green Label program to test carpet, cushions, and adhesives to help specifiers identify products with very low emissions of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Despite what you might find on Google, carpet does not contain any formaldehyde. This program, and others like it, set higher standards for IAQ and ensure that the customers are purchasing the very lowest emitting products on the market. Yeah. So what's the new carpet odor? Emily's dad recently had a lawyer call our office inquiring about new carpet odor. During their conversation, the meat of the inquiry filtered down to his client having to move out of their home due to a carpet cleaner that treated their carpet with a product called Ultra Fresh. Apparently, the homeowners were concerned about the odor associated with the recently installed carpet in their home. The cleaning technician was apparently not very familiar with the unmistakable odor produced by new carpet and how it is caused by a volatile organic compound, or VOC. There are many different types of VOCs, but the one related to a new carpet odor is 4-phenylcyclohexene, or 4-PCH, a byproduct of the synthetic latex binders used to hold the carpet backing together. Although new carpet does produce this volatile organic compound, Emissions from carpet, as measured during EPA studies, ranked it among the lowest overall contributors to indoor air quality issues. Most of the VOCs present in carpet dissipate between 24 and 72 hours of installation. Ventilation during and after carpet installation helps reduce that length of time. The conclusion is that there's no evidence that new carpet odor is a cause for alarm. However, since odors can create different reactions for individuals, it makes sense to address any complaints to prevent discomfort. As mentioned earlier, ventilating the structure during and after installation is the best way to reduce the buildup of 4-PCH in the indoor environment. Now, getting back to what the carpet cleaner did, the product Ultra Fresh is an antimicrobial with the active ingredient tributylene malleate. TBT is a highly toxic biocide that has been used extensively to prevent the growth of marine organisms on the hulls of large ships. I could bore you with more information about this product and the health issues it could cause, but just let's just say it's some bad foo-foo juice, and leave it at that. While the details of the lawsuit were not disclosed to us, the lawyer did say the family immediately left their home, leaving all of their belongings and is refusing to, to return to their home. Sounds like a lot of money. Our company has been commissioned to address this issue in the past, and we even once had one homeowner say the carpet burned her feet. Our solution was a clean water rinse and plenty of ventilation. But like I said earlier, this is a short-term issue that will typically clear itself up in a few days or less. As discussed in previous blogs, carpet benefits every indoor space simply by filtering the air we breathe. Add to this the rigid tests for new carpet, and we can assuredly state this myth is busted. busted. And now for a quote from H. Jackson Brown Jr. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Here's another new segment called Life Hacks that have nothing to do with carpet cleaning. Have you ever driven a rental car or borrowed someone's car and you're not sure which side of the car the gas tank cap is on? Well, there's a little secret that most people don't know and car manufacturers have done a pretty good job keeping it a secret. In all of these photos, you will notice a small arrow on one side of the gas pump icon. This arrow indicates which side of the car the gas tank is on. If the arrow points left, the car's filler cap is on the left, and vice versa. So the next time you visit the gas station in a vehicle you've rented, borrowed, or maybe just carjacked, just look at the dashboard. Whichever way the arrow points, that's the side of the car with the filler cap. Make sure to check out 
Alexander Financial on Facebook and Floor Carpet Technologies Incorporated on Facebook and YouTube. It's how cleaning is done.